Hello and welcome to the final of these warm-up videos. I'm David, uh, hopefully you have remembered that by now, and we are going to guide you through some things. We're going to get right into it today, I just want you to copy me. Um, we are going to start by doing these shoulder rolls and just opening your hands out. And we're just going to feel, oh, oh how are you on? Oh, that's good. And then we're going to move to the side. Oh yeah, oh yeah, now don't leave me hanging here. Please don't tell me I'm the only person in the world that's doing this. Just get yourself moving and grooving. Remember, we want to get the blood moving around our bodies. So, why not put on some music now, pause this video, stick on some music that you like and go absolutely mental. I'm a big fan of what I call a one minute dance party, which is just that. You put on an absolutely banging tune, you go mental, but you go mental for exactly 60 seconds. For the big muscles today, again, we're going to um, pay some attention to our shoulders because it's a common place that cellos can get cellos can get quite stiff. So what I want us to do is I want us just to cross our arm over and then with the other hand just pull that in towards you. And as you're doing that I want you to breathe out. So take some air in and then blow the air out as you're pulling towards you. Because what you should feel is that you can go just that little bit further when you're breathing out. Again, don't go too far. We don't want anyone to get sore or get hurt doing this. And then of course, shake it out and the same on the other side. So breathe in and then let the air out as you pull across. And you should just feel that back opening up a little bit. And then shake it out. And it just wouldn't be one of these warm up videos without a bit of finger gym. So finger flicks. Hopefully we've remembered these. <laughs> and hopefully it's becoming useful to you. And then my other favourite is a spider doing press-ups in a mirror. Spider, in a mirror, doing press-ups. Ta-da! So all five fingers touching one another and just opening and closing. All right, time to move over to the instruments. Hopefully those stretches and those physical warm-ups have been useful to you over the past little while. Feel free to add some of the activities that we've done in this video to the ones that we've done in previous videos so that you've got a really thorough warm-up that you can do. And that goes for this stuff as well, for the right hand, for the left hand things. Don't just feel like you have to be limited to what's in this video. Go back and watch the other ones as well and then we can have a really uh, thorough warm-up for, for our whole cellistic being. For the right hand today, we are going to do some more string crossing stuff. You'll remember that you did bits of it in the last video, but today we are going to do string crossings within slurs. And we're going to do what's called rainbow slurs, which is when we're trying to create a sort of rainbow shape with our bow. So if you get your instruments, I'll show you that it's going to be all four strings in one slur, from the lowest to the highest. And then same on the way back down. We'll do that twice in our little pattern. Then we're going to forget about the C string and we're going to do just the G, D and A. So just three strings now. And that happens twice. Bearing in mind we're going to use a whole bow all of the time. So it's a whole bow for four but it's also a whole bow for three so the bow is going to have to move a little bit quicker. Then we're going to drop the A string so we're going to be left with just the G and the D. going to be the D to finish with. And again, whole bows on the D string. So let's have a go at the whole pattern. Four strings, then three, then two, and then finish on the D. Here we go. After four. One, two, three, four. another great activity just to feel like your cello is resonating well and vibrating well. Did you hear my squeaky G? 
It's so annoying. Sometimes it just doesn't speak first time. Sorry for the squeaks. Another thing we can do for our right hand is just check in to see that our bow is really going straight. So I like to talk about different lanes on the motorway or the highway. Um, so we've got one lane that's kind of close to the fingerboard, one lane that's kind of like in the middle, one lane that's really quite close to the bridge. You can have stuff in between that, but three is a nice, um, easy thing to remember. So uh, what we're going to do is really focus on the point of contact. And we're going to try and be in that middle lane and we're going to try and stay in that middle lane all the way out to the tip and all the way back to the heel. So it's going to be a slow bow speed and I want you to really focus on your elbow opening out and then as you come back the elbow is just going to drop back in. So it has to open out almost like you're not bowing out to the side but you're actually bowing out and down a little bit. Just down a little bit. So if you kind of aim a little bit off, so not right 90 degrees over there but kind of like aim a little bit down that way and that will just help to keep your bow straight and help to, that elbow to open all the time. So let's try that. We'll see if we can make it last for eight, shall we? So eight to get to the tip and then eight to come back and try and keep your bow on the target the whole time. Ready, one, two, three, four. Elbow open, six, seven, eight and back, two, three, and elbow drop on the way back in. Now you might think that's super duper easy, but it's not. Open strings is some of the hardest stuff to do really well. Let's try that, but let's try adding a crescendo. So we're going to start quietly. We're going to crescendo to the tip, and then we're going to diminuendo again to the heel, which is quite a hard skill as well to really control the weight of your arm. So here we go, eight again. Ready. One, two, crescendo, four, five, six, seven, eight, and back, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And you might want to experiment with the point of contact with that exercise. You of course can try that on all of your strings. You can try that with different amounts of clicks in each bow. So you could pop a metronome on and try it with 16 clicks, see if you can really control the speed of the bow, or you can try it with a faster bow speed as well. For the left hand today, building on that idea of your fingers being like hammers, we're going to do trills. So again, this is a really good exercise to have a metronome for. So if you don't already have a metronome, there are plenty of apps available, or even just find one online. And what we're going to try and do is a trill, first of all, between one and two. Then between one and three. Then between one and four. Okay, so I'll do this without a metronome, but you can practice it in your own time with a metronome. So we're going to try... Two, 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 three... Let's try that. Ready and... Hopefully that should be simple enough. Then you can try doing triplets. Then you can try semi-quivers and... Try speeding it up so eventually it sounds actually more like a trill. Of course that's all just with the first finger. There are other combinations of fingers as well. So you could do three two. And then what's really hard, because your pinky is just a little bit useless with kind of like smaller tendons and not so strong, you could try a 4-3 trill as well. Starts 
slowly and speed up. All right, so experiment with that and with different combinations of fingers. If you are looking for more of those trill exercises, the Foyard Daily Exercises book that I recommended right back at the start has tons of great stuff in it. So we've come to the end of the series of warm-up videos. Thank you so much for joining in. Uh, remember that your practice doesn't stop here. It's not just that you do these videos, but that you actually now go on from these warm-ups into your practice. So again, I wish you farewell, and I wish you happy practicing, and hopefully I'll see you soon.